Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna learn how to use a calculator to graph discrete data which is scatter plot and continuous data which is solid line. Example number 9, use a calculator to graph discrete data. The function y equals 15.95 as represents the cost y in dollars of x tickets for the South Florida Museum. Graph the function using a domain of 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Is the domain of the graph discrete or continuous explained? Alright, so we have the function right here. We need to scatter table. Okay, so we're going to put the value of s. It could be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is the input. And then the output, it could be 15.95 times s. So we're going to substitute every single values of s into this function. We're going to get the corresponding output values. 0, 15.95, 31.9. 47.85 and 63.8. So we're gonna hit start, edit. All right. So I really did. L1, which is the input values. L2, which is the output values. All right. So I'm gonna hit start again. Go to count number four linear regression. All right. Make sure this is L1, L2. Go to store right here. Hit vars y vars function y1 and then go to calculate hit enter yes the equation is exactly y equal 15.95 times s b equals zero all right so now you need to hit second y equal now we need to get a scatter plot so the first one right here need to be turned on all right so you're gonna hit enter all right, you need to turn on and this one is highlighted right here. This is on. You need to hit enter, right, on, highlighted. Now, you hit y equals right here. And then you hit graph. It's going to be like this. You see, the scatter plot is going to be the blue one. And the trend line, it should be the red one. Now I want to see more points right here. I need to extend my window range. So I hit window. Alright. So this one negative 20 and 20. That's okay. Right. Because the input value is just 0 to 4. You see that. So you don't need to make it too big. But the y value is going to be right here. Alright. The maximum right here is 63.8. Minimum 0. Alright. So basically. I just hit this negative 20, but the maximum right here, I'm gonna put like 100. Alright, so I hit grab. I see more points. You see that? More points. Now, question Is the domain of the graph discrete or continuous explained? Alright, so you're gonna see that the number of tickets cannot be 1.1, cannot be uh, 3 over 5, something like that. It should be a whole number. Alright, so it starts from 0. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, something like that. Alright, so the domain of the graph is discrete. Alright, so it's going to be this one. Alright, let's move on to example number 10. Now, we do the same process. A zero part contains 130 calories. Number C of calories consumed is a function of the number b of bars eating. Graph the function. Is the domain of the graph discrete or continuous? Alright, so we're gonna start over. We're gonna hit start, edit. Alright, we're gonna change the value. The input should be 0 through 4, so it's gonna be already done. Now, second one. The output should be 0, 130. So 0, 130, 260, 390, and 520. Alright. Now you hit start again. Go to count number 4. 
L1, L2, and store right here, hit was, Y was, function, Y1, calculate, hit enter. Because the input right here, this is the number of bars. You can eat one half. You can eat one third bars. So the domain should be continuous. The number right here should be continuous. All right. So in order to grab this one, you need to hit second y equal. You need to turn this one up. We don't need scatter plot for the second one because it is continuous. All right. We hit enter turn this one off and then now you hit graph it's gonna be right here now we just adjust the window range because the output is pretty big all right so i'm gonna adjust the window range the output right here the maximum is 520 so i'm gonna put like 600 and then the scale right here i'm gonna put like 10 hit graph it's right here all right now let's move on to the next one example number 11 this is the question type of the store you conduct an experiment on the speed of sound waves in dry air at 86 degree you record your data in a table right look at this table right here which of the following is true? Now, the input time is going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. The output distance is going to be these numbers. Now, A, the domain is T greater than or equal to 2 and T less than or equal to 10. And is it discrete? No, it's not discrete because times could be 2.2 seconds. 2.3 seconds would be 5 over 2 seconds all right so it's not discrete now b the domain is t greater than or equal to 2 and t less than or equal to 10 and it is continuous yes it's continuous c the domain is d greater than no this is the range this one is the range right here this is the y value is the range this is the domain S. So this is wrong. This one wrong. Okay. This could be right. Now D. The domain is D. Rather than this one. Uh, again, this is not the domain. This is the range. So this is wrong. Only the answer choice B. Correct. Alright. Now, question 2 and 3 right here. I'm going to leave it for you to practice. And it's a good time to stop. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember that if you fail in to prepare, you're repairing to fail. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young, it has just begun as she puts her hand.